Hello everyone and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Welcome to my video or today's video as we may call it. We're going to be investigating the classic combat style in Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. We're kind of going to have a little bit of a play about with it here. And we're going to be jumping into the demo and just see what it's all about, how it differs from Final Fantasy VII Remake, and if indeed it's something that players or myself may want to play about with upon the full release or the second part of the demo um, when we unlock the Juno component. Junon, uh, my bad. Yeah, uh, I'm very intrigued because obviously being a boomer and playing the original game back back in the day on my lowly 4x3 tube television that my nan kindly donated to my gaming setup in a, in a bedroom that I shared with two other brothers. Uh, basically three of us grew up in a, in a room all huddled, huddled around this tube TV, you know, experiencing this Final Fantasy and great great times great memories i will uh cherish very fondly for the rest of my days so without getting too sidetracked on that we're gonna move into this now and we're gonna be checking out the classic sort of turn-based um combat style and see if it's been kind of reinvigorated reinvented for this rendition of final fantasy and I hope you enjoy today's video. But without further ado, let's get into the action. So here we have here a little bit of a recap from Final Fantasy VII Remake. There's not too many spoilers here if you haven't played it yet. But if you haven't played it yet, I, I recommend you do. Um, it's a fantastic game. Thoroughly enjoyable. When the combat style is set to classic, the player-controlled character will engage enemies in battle automatically, attacking, defending, and evading as appropriate. With this mode active, you can simply wait until your ATB guard fills, press X, execute a command, dictate the flow of combat. Note that you can always control the player-controlled character. Interesting. One thing I'm very interested to find out is that people with accessibility needs and disabilities Will this mode give them uh, a good experience with the game? It's one thing I'm very keen to know. Uh, I do believe that disabled gaming and accessibility features, I'm a strong advocate for this, as I believe gaming is an avenue to make people's lives better in many, many ways, mentally, uh, emotionally. So let's go with this classic mode now and just see exactly What's on offer? So, literally, the combat is completely automated there. I didn't have to do anything. The word button prompts at the bottom. I did press a few things, but it didn't really do anything, I don't think. Love that bokeh, bokeh, depth of field effect very well used cinematic so what i've actually had to do here is skip forward uh, there's quite a lot of dialogue and stuff going on in the city and the town wasn't really pertinent to the combat system so we skipped forward a little bit here and hopefully we're going to get a little bit of combat just to test out this classic input method and get a real feel for how it is so we're going into combat here so clouds are attacking i'm not doing anything here Jumping back, blocking automatically. Command menu, can't do anything. Right. So, interestingly enough, you do still attack in between. So, we can still switch mode. We can still switch to Punisher mode. And we can still use the attack button. We can also switch to the combat menu. So, it's kind of a little bit hybrid. So what's kind of interesting is Cloud will position, move, and focus priority targets with sort of the inbuilt AI system. We can use the command menu as normal, but we can also pick our attacks. So 
we could choose to take over and uh, you you square. You can kind of take over the battle, but you still don't move the character. So it's kind of a hybrid mod. It's very relaxing, actually. So now I'm in combat. If I don't press any buttons, you can see Cloud's blocking, Cloud's moving about. I'm not controlling that currently. But if I do want to attack, I can take out and press the square button and just constantly attack. Or I can switch to Punisher mode, like so, with triangle, and then he will attack in Punisher mode on his own. And I can also press X at any, at any point in time and cast spells. It's a little bit different to the original uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. I actually quite like it. I'm not going to lie. It actually feels... Dare I say, it feels like the right way to play the game. We'll skip over this. We're only interested in the combat. Right, so R1 blocking and stuff like that. Uh, block with perfect timing to render attacks ineffective. Now, what's going to be interesting about this is I'm not going to block. I'm just going to let Cloud... I'm just going to leave him fully on autopilot here and see what happens. Come on. Whoa. So he's auto-blocked. He's auto-blocked. Yeah. Now he's going in. He's doing a little swipe. Auto-blocked. Auto-block it again. One attack, two attack. Blocked again. So we're just going to open up the command menu here. We're just going to heal ourselves. Right. So one thing you will notice is, yeah, the blocking, the movement and whatnot. So it's okay defensively. But he's not actually doing anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take over and just use the square button. We're going to hold in square to jump to the target. We're going to press it. So when we do choose to attack, it's great. And then we can block up. But what's good about this mode is now we can focus more on our abilities. So say we want to do triple slash. Just pick that from the menu. You're done. And now he's staggered. We can just switch to punish him over triangle and just let him do his thing. Piece of cake. I will say... It is... It is very good. It's very enjoyable, actually. It's a little bit more of a relaxed way to play. I will say one thing that I did notice about the active combat in this game is when I was running about and trying to get on targets and stuff, I was getting a lot of occlusion and clipping with uh, terrain and problems with the camera angle. But with this mode, it kind of feels like this is how the game should be played. So we're going to jump forward with square here. So we're not pressing anything. I'm going to hold in square for attack. Switch to Punisher mode. We can rotate the camera here as well and see the battle from all different angles, which is great. And we've got our ATB meter up so we can go like, hey, well, there's a couple of targets near each other. Let's triple slash. Pick the higher target. Boom, boom, boom. And then we can do like a blizzard spell. Calling ice. And just like that. So it's a lot more relaxing. Um, it doesn't feel as strenuous. One thing that I do like about it is the kind of auto-blocking. I don't know what limitations it may have um, in regards to damage and stuff like that. Or if there's any subtle advantages to it. It doesn't feel massively different. It just kind of... I mean, how would I say it? It just takes a little bit of the burden off you. I got the rest. As regards to blocking and stuff like that. So obviously there, now we're blocking instantly, which gives me more time as a new newer player or even a veteran player to think, well, hey, what do I want to do here? Um, then we can hold in square. And then we can think, well, you know, oh, I'm a bit low here. I want to heal up or... You know, let's, let's, let's just sit back and see the attack pattern of the enemy. And then in between blocking now, 
I get a feel for how they're attacking. Let's get a rhythm going. Uh, we've got a limit break up here. So there are some little solo advantages where you can kind of sit back a little bit. It's a little bit less um, stressful in the regards that you know Cloud's going to block in between and position himself correctly. And you can just sit back and kind of look at the fight and think, well, who's he attacking? Who's he focusing? Look at my health bar. Gives me a little bit more time to focus on maybe healing myself up. Resin a party member. And then, oh, a gap holding square. You know, see an opening in the pattern, hold square. So on and so forth. So that's been a little bit of a look into sort of the turn-based combat system that is available for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you have any questions or any further input that you'd like to ask, drop it in the comments. And as always, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.